I'm more I'm more nervous about um, I'm more nervous about how many people are gonna yeah. watch us because like obviously it's quite a pop festival and like we're a bit of a rock band so I wonder, I wonder how many chavs are gonna be there yeah throwing knives <laughs> and TVs they looted the other week <laughs> see what happens I guess we've, got, we've been playing a song called Loverboy which is just kind of uh, Zane Lowe played the exclusive of it at Ray J like a few weeks ago or a week ago um, we've played it in Belfast and Poland so far so both times like it's always that thing when you play a new song it's kind of a bit a bit sketchy everyone's like not really sure what's going on and I think the crowd are new to it as well but so like, as soon as you say oh there's a new song uh, everyone just gets their phone out and they're like oh, I've got to record it kind yeah. of thing so it's cool. kind of it's different to the rest of the set yeah. it's definitely cool to start playing new music so. we are we are doing a tour in March um, but they're not arenas we kind of just we still spoke about arenas yeah, we and we wanted to hold off until so you don't want to go to arenas and you know do well and you know they kind of sell out we, we want to we, we want to go there when the time's right and we just smash them out and can put on a bit good show yeah, and that kind of stuff a so. massive show like that's the thing for us as, as a live band we've always every tour we've ever done especially in this country because we have a bit more money to play with we always try and like do something cool put, put on something a bit special so yeah, as Dan said I wouldn't want to go to arenas and be like struggling to do what we want to do if we do it we want to do it in a big big way yeah, so yeah, yeah I mean we're pretty much on the road non-stop until Christmas um, we're going to Australia on Wednesday for a headline tour out there um, we're just about to announce a US tour next week yeah for the, for the autumn the fall and um, yeah it's gonna be busy we're definitely gonna try and uh, we've got some big festival slots next summer as well that we're talking about with promoters and stuff so Hopefully this is going to be a, a nice, a nice touring cycle. Like, yeah. Before when we've done albums, like we've had artwork and we've just been like, oh, we like that picture and we like this, and it's all been kind of all over the place. Whereas this, there's, there's definitely like a quite a theme that's going to run from, you know, from the videos to the photo shoots to the artwork and everything. It's all going to hopefully tie in together. Yeah. So. We were when we were recording. I turned around to Garth, our producer, like, oh, what do you think of the title, Little Death? And he said. It makes me think of somebody abducting my daughter and yeah, killing yeah, her. Yeah. And I was like, killing right then, we daughter. won't use it. Yeah, and right. I was like, it just means orgasm in French. He was like, yeah, I wouldn't do that, boys. And then our label were like, yeah, that's not happening. And I was like, well, we're calling a song Little Death, though. And they're like, fair enough. So we also wanted to call, sorry, we had, we had a song which is called, uh, which now is just called Time is Money. But when it, well, the original title was Time is Money and you're not paying me enough to listen to your bullshit. Yeah. But they wouldn't let that out. They weren't into that one either. So. They, they were like, this, is this song about your label? I was like, yeah. It's like, oh, right, okay. <laughs> but no, we love our label now. It's all good. Yeah, we are, we're all like massive fans of Blink and obviously they've got their new stuff that's just come out and I've only had a chance to listen to it a few times, but I've got the feeling that as a, as a Blink fan, which I know obviously we are, it's hard to dislike anything they do, if that makes sense, because it's that is a band that obviously we've got to listen to. Um, Anytime they come out with new music, it's going to be cool, you know. Just yeah. the fact that they got back together and they're playing shows and writing music together again is cool enough, so yeah. they could write anything and I'm sure everyone would love it. Yeah. What was strange is that obviously in the same, pretty much the same time frame that we found out that the Blink tour was being postponed, we then went and won like best British band at the Kerrang Awards so like we had this massive low we were like oh we were going to play huge arenas with one of our favourite bands so we were all feeling very sorry for ourselves and then like a few weeks later we had this massive pick me up so it's kind of I don't know everything seems to be balancing itself out at the moment the I'm, next just, I'm just hoping that we're at home so at least we can go to the show yeah man I think we're